The Easter long weekend is one of the busiest times of the year on our roads and more cars on the road does equal more crashes and tyres play an integral part in reducing your risk of being involved in a crash. You can also find yourself with a vehicle defect notice if you happen to get inspected by the authorities and your tyres are found to have been not quite kept up to scratch. Well to help with this, Steve Burke, Technical Manager for Toyota Tyres is here to show us how to do a simple check of your tyres. Now Steve, what do we need to look out for? All motorists need to do a very basic visual check of the tyres to ensure the tyres have uh, enough tread depth to be safe, um, as well as a check to check of any obvious damage and an inflation pressure check. The tyre manufacturers like Toyo, they really do make it easy for us. There are tread depth indicators now and they're mandatory. All tyres for road use have legal requirements that include a tread wear indicator, which is a very easy visual indicator for, for all motorists. Give us a look at okay. how we know. Okay. This little, what we'd call the tread wear indicator, yep. okay? Once the tyre's worn down to that on any section of the tyre, it is legally worn out. Worn any more than this, the tyres generally become unsafe as well as illegal. Okay, and I believe we have another one that is far worse than that. We do, look, we can see here some of the, the tyre cap fly coming up through the tread itself. So we actually have no tread rubber on the inside of the tyre, which when you are inspecting your tyres, it's extremely important you look at the whole tread face, not just the, out have a look at the outside corner as you walk past the tyre. You turn the, the steering on full lock, it just makes it very easy to inspect the front tyres. You need to inspect all four tyres because obviously all four need to be in a safe and roadworthy condition, but they all wear at different rates um, and some of them may have different wear type of patterns and also your spare. Yeah, and speaking of air, that is one of the other things on the checklist. Most motorists I'd recommend purchase themselves um, a quality tyre gauge to keep in their blood, blood box. It's easy to do at the servo, but then you can't always trust the machines either. It's a small investment that yep. lasts a very long time, so I'd recommend a, a quality gauge like this. It isn't expensive and fits in the glove box. For the purpose of this exercise, I'll use my, my larger gauge, which works in exactly the same way, to check the pressure. Oh, 30. All right, I have had a look at the placard for this car and the location of the placard can differ car to car. In this case, it's in the door jam. 32, this should be. We have a slight problem already. Yes, already uh, a slightly low pressure with this one. Okay, so what are the possible risks or the consequences of not doing these checks or doing the check and then ignoring the problems? Vehicle fuel economy is, is adversely affected by low tyre pressures. Where there's a, a lot of volume of water on the road, the tyres, if they're low in tread depth, will be susceptible to aquaplaning. The worst possible scenario, Tegan, is the tyre failing in service and obviously causing an accident. Well, you we definitely want to avoid all of those things and a simple five minute check is all it takes. So thanks, Steve, and to everyone, have a very safe and happy Easter from Toyo Tyres and all of us here at Car Advice.